winter was coming to the island of Sydney. The morning round was covered in crisp white frost. All of the engines were getting ready for the winter holidays. One morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds to speak to his engine man. He had very important news. Choo Jay, everyone must be very busy. There is going to be a heavy snowstorm later in the day, and it will make the rails very icy. I need everyone doing their jobs as slowly and carefully as possible. Some of you may have to take two trips, so the weight of your trains does not cause any confusion and delay. After Sir Topham Hatt had given the engines their jobs, he drove away. Two trips? Thomas puffed. How am I supposed to make more journeys than the other engines when I have to do two trips? You must do as Sir Topham Hatt says, wished Emily, and she huffed away. This made Thomas cross. I'll show Emily I don't need two trips to be careful. And Thomas steamed off to the continent. When Thomas arrived at the coaling plant to pick up his trucks, Emily was there taking on coal. Thomas! Oh, Thomas! She just wants to tell me what to do, huffed Thomas. Just then, Thomas had a cheeky idea. He pretended he couldn't hear Emily. He thought he was being rather clever. Thomas! Emily tooted loudly. You mustn't forget to take two trips and puff with care. Bother two trips and bother Emily. Anyway, I can manage just fine. He wished and puffed out of the culling plant as fast as he could. Oh, Thomas! Soon Thomas was puffing down the main line. Silly Emily, puffed Thomas. She just wants to tell me what to do. Just then Thomas had to stop at a signal. James was there. How many journeys have you done? I'm on my first, said Thomas. Ha! Huh, I'm on my third! I'm as red as a rocket and twice as fast! And James seemed happily away. This made Thomas want to finish his jobs faster than ever. Later, Thomas saw Gordon while he was waiting for his train. Still on your first journey, eh? Puffed Gordon. What a shame. This made Thomas very cross. I'll get more jobs done than you ever could. You'll see. And with that, Thomas puffed quickly away. Thomas was puffing down the line, he saw Emily again. She was on her second journey. I'll show Emily I can get more jobs done without taking two trips. And he steamed in front of her. Slow down, Thomas! The track up ahead is very icy! But Thomas wasn't listening. Fasting, fasting, carefully, he puffed to himself. But just then, a set of points that had been frozen by the ice sent Thomas steaming down the wrong track. He tried to stop, but his train was too heavy. So Thomas came to the stop. But by the time he had stopped, the storm had covered his tracks in ice and snow. Bother, sighed Thomas. I shall have to phone for help, said his driver, and he telephoned for help in the nearest signal box. Thomas waited and waited. The weather got worse and worse. Just then, Thomas heard a whistle. Help is here, tooted Thomas happily. But when he saw who his rescuer was, it was Emily. I told you to take two trips and go slowly, wished Emily. Thomas knew he had done wrong and was respectfully silent. Later that night at the sheds, Thomas spoke to Emily. I'm sorry, Thomas wished sheepishly. I was so worried about making the most journeys, and I should have listened to your advice. That's all right, said Emily. Next time, just do as I say. Thomas had to laugh. <laughs>